Hey guys, Pro 1701 here. Today we are going to be ranking phase one of the MCU movies, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I actually had to look up to remember what all movies were in it. It had been so long, uh, really, since phase one happened. Like, I couldn't remember if Iron Man 3 was the last movie of phase one or the first movie of phase two. Apparently, it is the first movie of phase two. So we're going to be looking at the six movies leading up to and including the first Avengers. And in sixth place, sixth place is The Incredible Hulk. Now, I like this movie. Um, it's a little odd going back to, since we have Edward Norton as Bruce Banner instead of Mark Ruffalo, which we've become more accustomed to, especially since they have very different takes on Bruce Banner. So it's, I have to remind myself sometimes that this is an MCU movie. And it's still good. I like it. Uh, it has some nice moments. Like, I love that it has the piano theme from the Incredible Hulk TV series with Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno, that it has that in the movie. I love that. I love the fact we see the eyes change before the rest of him as a nice homage to that show. Because I, I used to love the old show when I was a kid. Uh, and I still enjoy watching episodes from it every now and then. Uh, the line about, don't make me angry, you won't like me when I'm hungry. I like how they have a little fun with that line with him saying it in Spanish, that's nice. I enjoy it, it's, I like seeing the abomination. I like the CGI work done on Hulk in it. Edward Norton is okay. Again, he still looks out of place since we're used to seeing Mark in it now. Um, but it, it's good, I mean, it's good, I enjoy it. Uh, in fifth place is Iron Man 2. And I had a heck of a time placing five and six because I like them for different reasons. So I had a heck of a time placing which one to put in five, which one to put in six. Maybe I've been putting Iron Man 2 a little higher because I've seen it more recently. I watched it again just a few months ago. Because as much as I love the MCU movies and I do enjoy them, I don't re-watch them frequently. I don't own them on physical media. I think I might own the first Avengers. <coughs> Excuse me. But for some reason, I never really pick them up on physical media. I can just watch them on Disney+. Plus. But I like Iron Man 2. I feel like... Um, I feel like Mickey is underutilized as a villain. I feel like Justin Hammer is under um, underutilized as a villain. I feel like both of them need to be fleshed out better. I would like to see Hammer come back. I'm surprised we have not seen Hammer come back. They really need to get him back. I think he's a good, like, evil businessman type. I'd like to see him back again. Uh, but these days the villains tend to, tend to be more larger than life, you know, uh, way more deadly villains than just him. But I, so I'd like to see a return to just a corrupt businessman. You know, I would like to see that. Uh, it's good. Robert Downey Jr. is great in it. I really like Don Cheadle in it. I like Don Cheadle as Rhodey a lot better than I do Terrence Howard. So that was a nice move. I agree with that change. It's nice to see War Machine suit up in it. Um, it's nice to see some of the stuff Tony's dealing with in it. So I like too. It's 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 fine. Uh, moving up to number four is Thor. I actually really enjoy the first Thor. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed the first Thor. Um, it's kind of a chick flick in a way with uh, the way it flows, in my personal opinion. But I still really enjoy it. I think it's a really good date movie. I remember seeing it twice in the theaters. I think it's a really good movie to take a date on. Um, I know one, one girl I used to date, she really enjoyed that one. She found it humorous. I like when... Uh, Chris Hemsworth keeps getting hit by the car. That's funny. She keeps running and over. Uh, Jane keeps running over him. That's hilarious. So it's it's got a lot of humor in it that really clicks with me. Kind of gives me a kind of reminds me of like an '80s comedy movie, and I enjoy that. So it's th the first Thor is really really good. Um, I didn't think they'd be able to make a Thor movie I liked better than the first Thor because uh, I didn't really care for the second one as much. But Ragnarok's really good. Ragnarok's probably my favorite of the three. But the first one is really, really good. Moving up to number three is the first Avengers. I really like the Avengers. Uh, just to see this movie get made and get fully realized and get pulled off as well as it is, is just magic. I mean, I remember in 2008 when the first Iron Man came out and this, you know, we found out we were getting this movie in 2012. And I'm like, 2012? Four years? Ah, oh, and it seems so long away, so long away. And then uh, I remember in 2012, when the movie was coming out, and me and uh, my best friend Shane being really excited about it, and actually telling him, "Man, can you believe it's already 2012?" We were, and we brought up about how 
when it was first announced, you know, we were like, that's so long away. And then we were like, wow, it's actually here. 2012, it's here. And then, as I'm saying this, I'm sitting here thinking that that was nine years ago, and it's very humbling. <laughs> well, that'll make you feel old. People who watched this when they were like nine are like old enough to vote. That's terrifying. But I love the first Avengers. I love that camera shot, you know, when they're all standing back to back and the camera's panning around and that's such an iconic shot. I really, really like it. Just seeing all these heroes actually get brought together in this shared universe. Who would have thought, you know, if somebody had told me back in the late 90s or even early 2000s that, you know, Marvel would be, would be putting movies out like this, I would have laughed. You know, because back, back when I was growing up as a kid, DC did all the good movies, the Superman movies, the Batman movies, stuff like that. Um, so it was re it's really neat to be able to see all these characters on screen together. Although I will admit Captain America's uniform does look a little cosplay in the first one in retrospect. It looks a little silly. But other than that, um, it's just, it's a, it's a feat. The fact they pulled this off and got this movie off the ground. And despite everything that's kind of going on with Josh Whedon now, he did a fantastic job on this movie. And I still enjoy this movie. I'm, I'm not one of those people that think you can't separate the art from the artist. I'm perfectly fine. I, I have no problem separating the art from the artist. Um, and despite everything he's going through, I still think this is a wonderful movie. I still enjoy watching it. Like I said, I think it's the only one I own on DVD of the MCU. I really like it. I think it's a really good movie. Um, moving up to number two is uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. I really enjoy this movie. Uh, I have a fondness for World War II stuff. Uh, like for instance, I love the movie Patton. I love Hogan's Heroes, stuff like that. Uh, so I've always something about this era is just really, really. There's a reason why I like video games always go back to this era. It's it's so iconic, and um, I mean it's got Hugo Weaving as the Red Skull, and my goodness, is he so good as the Red Skull? The makeup they use to make him look like the Red Skull, Red Skull, the Red Skull is so well done, so well done, looks so good. Chris Evans. I did not know if Chris Evans could pull this role off because I only knew him as the Human Torch, but he just blew me away. Uh, he is really, really good as Captain America. He really won me over quickly. I like um, um, Haley Atwell as Peggy Carter. She's such a good character. It has Tommy Lee Jones in it. I like Tommy Lee Jones. There's, just, there's so much good in this movie. I really, really uh, enjoyed it. It's such a good period piece and really... Um, sets things up for the Avengers at the end in a really, really nice way. Uh, and number one on the list is the first Iron Man. I, this is a, one movie I just absolutely love. I love the first Iron Man. Um, I would love to get a really good steel book of it, but I just, I never see a steel book for it that I actually like. Like I've seen the Mondo one and I've seen a bunch of others. But I I'm really picky about my steel books. Cause I love steel books, but I'm really, really particular about the art and I just, I don't ever see art for this one that I like. But man, Robert Downey Jr. is just so good in this role. He just embodies this role so well. He's so phenomenal, and he really, really gets Tony Stark as a character. And it's it's just magic to watch him act in this movie. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Terrence Howard as Rhodey. I, was, I really like Don Cheadle better as Rhodey, so I was kind of glad that they moved away from Terrence Howard in this one. Just, I've never been a big fan of him as an actor. Um, <clears throat> I like Jeff Bridges in this movie. Uh, despite the fact uh, Ebediah Stone, whatever his name is, Jeff Bridges' character in the movie, he's a little two-dimensional. You don't quite get his motivations for this. If he was such good friends with Tony's dad, when did he turn all evil and everything? Uh, he's not very fleshed out, but Jeff Bridges being as good of an actor as he is, he still gives more to the character. Him playing the character does lend more credence to the character, and uh, I really enjoy him in the role. Um, I mean, if this movie had bombed, we wouldn't have the MCU. We wouldn't have this shared universe that we have. Uh, so a lot was really riding on this movie, and it really paid off. It really worked. And a good bit of that is down to Robert Downey Jr. in this role. I really, uh, really like this movie a lot. It's probably one of my favorite MCU movies, period. It's definitely my favorite from Phase 1. So that is my list. What do you think? Uh, what are your... What is your ranking for Phase 1? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Comment down below. You know I always enjoy interacting with you guys. Other things to do, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click that bell for notifications. But most importantly, stay safe out there.
and thank you for watching.